All right, next game, Phillies, Marlins, 410 Eastern first pitch. Philadelphia's minus a buck 15, total seven and a half. Ranger Suarez for the Fightins, Max Mayer possible for Miami. And if Mayer does end up getting the start, this will uh, be his uh, debut here for the Marlins. And, uh, well, I'll tell you this much. He kind of does find himself in a tough spot. Uh, the Marlins lost six out of their last ten. And their lineups really struggled at the dish this year. These guys are currently in the bottom ten in strikeouts, bottom ten in scoring. They're also going up against Ranger Suarez, who's 6-5 and five on the year with 64 strikeouts. And, of course, the Phillies can score with the best of them. I mean, this is going to be a really tough game uh, for this youngster. Uh, the Fightins are currently in the top five in runs per contest, top ten in homers. And you're probably going to have to face Kyle Schwarber at least, at least two times, two to three times. Uh, Schwarber has a team-best 28 homers and 57 runs batted in. Uh, Schwobo is actually second in the bigs right now in that home run category. Now, when it comes to the total, oddly enough, six out of Philly's last seven road games did fall under the number. Meanwhile, Miami went five and one to the under in their last six at Lone Depot Park. So I'm going to lean toward the Phillies minus a buck 15 and the under seven and a half. Next contest, Bo Sox, Yankees, 715 East. The New York Yankees are minus 165 at home, totals eight and a half. Jamison Tyone for New York, Nick Pavetta for Boston. Now, Pavetta's ERA.